is this creative process? How do these people think? How does an idea become a final product uh, to be placed in front of the audience or whatever platform that anybody has chosen? How do they do it? How it's done? How does an idea, a nascent idea in the mind of a human being gets converted to a final finished product which can be live, delivered to a client or on any platform that's available. Today we're answering this question. Before jumping into the video, this is AWP Exotica back with a bang for you guys on my channel. Over here we do tutorials, we do vlogs, we do tech reviews, we do videos related, related to photography and videography. So welcome back. Let's jump straight into the video and tell you guys what is a creative process and how to adopt it to develop your own creative creative style coming up. First off, we're going to talk about the definition of the creative process, which I think fits well in any scenario, and that is that creative process is a method through which a roughly conceived idea is converted into a thing of value to be placed in front of the audience or anyone when it's in front of the audience, if it's related to videography, photography, or particularly YouTube, and in front of anyone if it's related to the commercial world of product designing of, you know, stuff like that. So that's what the creative process is. All right, to start off, I'm going to give you an example of this tiny ceramic fish over here. Now, the creative process applies to anything that anybody wants to create. Now, first must have been the idea in the mind of the creator or the designer of this little fish over here that he's going to create a colored ceramic looking fish for the product industry out there and sell it. And I bought it. That's the creative process. The idea must have come in his mind that I can play with the colors and let's put these colors and the finish uh, finishing of the thing on a small you know sandy ceramic surface so this is the creation right here this is the final product but the thought process behind it is the creative process which we are talking about today without any further waiting to do the first thing or the first part of the creative process ladies and gentlemen over here is thinking thinking about new ideas going out there thinking about different ideas developing that habit to think ponder and look at things from an ideas perspective now ideas can start coming naturally while you while you're traveling while you're moving around while you're sitting alone soberly in a place in your lounge in your bedroom in your washroom wherever you are ideas can come naturally but to develop that habit you need to force your mind to think in a way that it starts to generate ideas for your creative process now how do you generate ideas while taking long walks put the headphones inside your ear is start thinking about things, look at things from a different perspective and ideas, it's certainly and definitely going to come in your mind. Whenever I'm outside, I always try to think and keep up pace with the next videos that I'm going to make and I keep thinking of what to bring on this channel for you guys. So get that, get that, you know, uh, idea juice flowing inside your mind so that you're able to generate those ideas for the creative process, which we are talking about over here. All right, so once you're done with the thinking part of the process, you have the idea, you've conceived it, now is the time to record that in any form maybe physically recording it on a notebook writing it down using a pen or perhaps you know digitally recording it on the hard drives that are available with you on your computer these days the notes application on smartphones are very 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 accurate and very nice you can do you can just jot down your idea in your smartphone and that's about it so now you have now basically what is happening is that you are formalizing the creative process by writing things down. Once you've written something down, you're forcing your mind to think seriously about it, that this is something that needs to be done. So record your ideas. After the creative, uh, uh, after the idea that you've generated, the next step is recording and putting it in writing in digital or physical form on a notebook. What most people do after they have written down the idea in some form or another is that they try to go solo on a solo flight. Don't do that. Go and discuss that idea with people that you know or people who are relevant to that idea or aspect which you are trying uh, to you know uh, produce go and talk with them have a heart to heart discussion with your friends with your peers who are serious about this uh, this the work that you are doing or the idea that you have once your peers discuss those ideas with you the pros and cons of that particular subject are going to come out and then you'll be able to weigh in on what to do and what not to do the final decision is decision is definitely going to be yours but that pros and cons part from your peers or from your team
teachers, from your friends, from your family is going to help you a lot. Always discuss your ideas with the relevant people who you think will be able to help you. That way it's going to further refine the idea and bring out those pros and cons for you to work upon. Once you've discussed your idea with the, the group of friends or peers that you have, now in the creative process we have discussed around four, three steps. The first was generating an idea, how to generate that. The second was writing it down and recording the idea in a formal shape. The third was discussing it with the pre peers, friends, relatives and teachers or relevant people who can help you with the idea. The next part over here is that you now ought to produce. Now this is the most time consuming process in which the idea is finally converted into a product of value. Now comes the cumbersome part of editing, of going through the footage in uh, the example of a video being created, going through that footage, cutting down, getting the idea in a form or shape, in a final shape. That includes including sound effects, including sound design, including, uh, you know, cutting off uh, the videos at uh, the relevant points and places, including color grading, uh, you know, sequencing, use of music and a lot of other stuff. So once you have all these things inside your computer and place in the right proportion and size you start to edit. Now that editing is going to get the final product or a rough product at first out for you to analyze and work upon further. Or this was the fourth step that you start producing is you start creating from the idea that you had. Now comes the last step which is the final delivery of the product to whatever platform that you have chosen for yourself. May it be social media, may it be a client, may it be a project for a company, a project for you know a firm that you have been working for. Now is the delivery time. Now the means of delivery that you choose should be very very accurate. The way that you are going to deliver, deliver the product to to anyone or to any platform. It should be presentable, it should be neat, it should be well laid out and it should be understandable for the viewer or the party that is going to accept the project for, from you. So delivery, keep a few tips or points in mind. Deliver at the right time, deliver at the right place, deliver aesthetically, as much aesthetically as possible. Deliver with a smile. That's the most important part. You must have a smiling face, morale should be up and all that. So that the party at the receiving end doesn't get the feeler that he's bored as for thing that he's trying to present. Don't do that. So these were five tips or five steps for the creative process that I came up for you guys to include or you know, work upon in your future videos, scenarios, or whatever work or project that you're working on. Hope this uh, this five-step creative process is going to help you deliver and streamline your work in a better way. This is AW Pixotica signing off for now. See you in another video really, really soon. Do not forget to subscribe, leave a like, do comment in the comment section below if you want anything of your choice to be coming on this channel. We have just crossed the benchmark of 200 subscribers. I'm really, really happy. It's all because of you guys that I have reached this epoch in my YouTube career. Hope to get more subscribers and likes very, very soon and hope to reach those levels that Peter McGinn and Casey Neistat and Peter Lindgren have reached. I really love those guys. So that's pretty much it. See you in another video really, really soon. For now, bye-bye.